Hi, welcome to my Linux Mint 18 Cinnamon system. This movie will be about GitHub. I've been using GitHub now for some time. And I do remember how steep a learning curve we had to take. It was like a logarithmic curve. So it was very difficult for me to understand how GitHub works, what things I had to do, what commands I had to learn. It has been, it has been a struggle, to say the least. Now, we're some years later, and I want to share the knowledge I've, I, I've built up and make sure that you don't have to go through that learning process again. So this is my intention, a quick and easy way to make sure that you can set up a GitHub, that you can upload your icons, themes, files, configurations, anything on GitHub, know full well that uh, uploading anything on github is like sharing with the community so everybody on the internet can get access to it so that's the idea okay so let's do it together what is my fastest easiest way there is first off you go to github and you make sure that you can log in so you make yourself an account when you have your account you go to here and you say create a new repository I'm going to name this repository GitHub Tutorial. And I have made it already, so I can make it a bit faster for you guys. Quick and a fast way to get you started with GitHub. That's my intention. It's public, otherwise you have to pay for it, it's private. So you say, okay, create it for me. Create repository. This is the official code, what we could do copy paste everything inside it what I'm not gonna do is what I tell you to do I'm going to make it so it's an, as fast as possible online I'm gonna copy this or press here copy to clipboard I'm gonna go to my terminal I'm gonna say look well let's type it it's already installed sudo apt install git oops you see the mistake already? Double up. Voilà, already the newest one. And then you're gonna git clone whatever that is copy pasted. And there you have it. There you have the GitHub tutorial. Now you may think, well, you saw the text, it's an empty, but it's not empty. The GitHub control H is not empty. It has already a hidden folder dot shit and for the the geeks under us there is already a configuration file in which it states and stipulates whatever information it requires and basically it requires this one where is the place on the internet where should i push it to so this is the origin and we are at the master remote origin and branch master two words that you'll see popping up but nothing is inside yet so i'll put two elements online i'll put two files online to make it easy for you the only thing you're gonna need is these three actually but two scripts i'm gonna take three of them and i copy them to this folder so an empty github this is going to push everything online this is just the text we look at so if you're going to uh, surf to the net you will find a title a text what this is it about so it's information it's only github tutorial more to be followed later we're gonna write the tutorial later how to format everything on github but now it's getting set ready setting everything up so that's why this is called setup you have to run this one that's the first thing you do and then you can type or copy paste the readme from online version but i think you have to i'll make a copy of readme.md so you can download it and rename it and then you have to run this one but it's better maybe not to run it like this 
but you can write your comments 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 so the first commit eh? nothing be said is going to upload everything and done so let's have a look and with all the explanation and all that we're online i don't know how many minutes we took it took but that's it we're now everything is set and we can go and add icons scripts and so on and the only thing we have to remember always is to go to the system here and say mostly i do it like this and i type git <coughs> second commit nothing to commit everything is clean nothing has changed okay if at some point in time i want to include this in the first movie as well often we have um, two computers and the idea for this educational movie is we work alone in it that's the premise we are the only ones working on the github if things if there are co-workers and there are other people working on the same github you have to learn a lot more but just you putting yourself putting your files online uh, like a backup or a share then it's okay and if you have two computers you go to the second computer and tell the system to git pull everything back the latest version from the github to your second computer and those are the only commands actually that you should remember git pull and that's it all right and for the rest if you're working on the other computer again if you change something you can start the script git sh and then everything will be pushed again to github that's it for now